The Linden Sculpture Garden is a lovely bucolic place only about 20 minutes north of downtown Milwaukee, nestled on the south side of Brown Deer Road, a few minutes north of I-43. The nearly 40 acres and sprawling house used to be the home of Harry and Peg Bradley, but have found a new purpose since 2009 when this was opened as the Linden Sculpture Garden, housing many of the monumental modern sculptural works collected by Peg Bradley. Not content to rest in the past, the Linden offers new and changing exhibitions featuring local, national, and internationally recognized contemporary artists. The ongoing series, Inside Outside, challenges artists to make works responding to this unique space indoors and out. So this week, let's get out of the gallery and get into some nature as we go look at this. of the self to physical location are undercurrents in this exhibition featuring the work of Nancy Pop and Paul Druka, as are aspects of time and locomotion. The exhibition might start or end in the gallery space. Photographs of the changing seasons at the Linden and Druka's home are displayed like a fast series of afternoon clouds moving overhead. We stand on the floor covered in rugs, demarcated with the plots of land in the neighborhood of the Linden, moving south through the lots of land in the city of Milwaukee. Pop, who is based in Los Angeles, often works in performance art and in public works. Since 2013, she made visits to the Sculpture Garden. One of the materials she uses in her art is mason line, this orange line strung between the trees. Mason line is used ordinarily in bricklaying in order to build a straight wall. Here, it's used to draw out attention to a path one of many possible, between trees. Sometimes it's a little cat and mouse, finding the line and losing it later on. There is a map to help orient you, but in the broadness of these grounds, there is still a sort of visual hunch that happens. Something that is really a bit humorous is the sense of absurdity. There is no wall to be built here, not a closed line either. The line is like a wannabe artificial horizon that sometimes ends up in a scuffle and a tangle with the tree. The bright orange stands out in nature, it's wholly unnatural and loses its thin insubstantial self without too much trouble against the vastness of nature. Ah, a moment of respite. Well, okay, not really. <laughs> along with the mason line, Pop has made a hammock of sorts which is beautifully framed alongside the sculptures in the distance. The hammock is knitted. The woven technique is inspired by Pop's recovery after a motorcycle accident. Think of knitting the elements of life back together and the creation of strong bonds through that very process. If Pop's linear, sky-sided path feels a bit discreet, then Milwaukee-based artist Paul Druka's garden path is direct and solid, though not without its own sense of play and surprise. Stone markers punctuate the installation, in addition to a statement calling up the thought of the people who take care of this rolling, manicured place. But follow us down the primrose path And hey, where are we off to? Parts unknown, or at least outside the usual park-like confines. In the gesture of preparing a place to put our feet, Druka leads the viewer to a place little visited or seen, where are the sculptures of this garden. But there is one additional piece, another surprise, because we come to Laundry Day, which stretches out for about 100 feet along the perimeter fence. So, you think fences are something to conceal or keep out? Not so much so, as we've crossed from inside to outside, and this mural is amusing on laundry, figuratively or otherwise, that is part of the private domestic space. What these artists do in these modest ways is draw your focus to that sense of place and movement. Find the line, find the path, veer off the path, wander at will. If the result is a heightened awareness and a more attentive sense of place and space, the Linden is a fantastic venue for just that experience. There's a lot more to see here, and literally a lot more ground to cover in the permanent sculpture installations. Thanks for traipsing along with us here this week. See you next time when we'll look at something else.